Hey, what's up guys? Kellen here again with Troy Life. I'm taking a look quickly at notifications for Lollipop. So they've changed a little bit since the preview builds, but basically what Google's done is given you more controls over your notifications, which is never a bad thing. So let's, let's look for a minute at what we're dealing with here. So if I pull this down, you can see I've got some notifications. Now you can do this long press sort of animation, and that will actually show you the app you're dealing with and also give you some options. So there's an info button uh, with Hangouts, or I could do it with Mailbox, you get an info button. Or you can see with like Google Now, it's actually giving me a settings button. Same thing with, uh, well, Android Wear is pulling from Google Play services, but I got a settings button there as well. So I'll show you um, a couple of things here. So if I go to Google search and I tap on the settings, it actually takes me into my Google Now settings, which is kind of sweet. So I'm thinking maybe Google's gonna open that up to developers to maybe give you shortcuts right to settings for their apps although I'd have to look at that specifically, but it's kind of a neat little shortcut. Um, if we jump back into these other ones, like let's say Hangouts. So that doesn't have the, the settings shortcut, but let me hit info. So you can do this with basically any app. And what you're seeing when you get in here is individual notification controls for that app. So I can block notifications from Hangouts in general. I could set it as priority so that, uh, they're always at the top of the list and they can even shine through when I decide to sort of put my phone on do not disturb mode maybe. And then there's also sensitive, which means they just really won't show up on the lock screen. And so you've got some new controls, which you may want to take advantage of. So uh, if we jump back though, uh, and I'll show you if you adjust your volume, uh, this is kind of where you go into like a do not disturb mode. So I could go priority and this is where you would set um, it to show you only notifications or notify you of things that have been flagged as priority. So if I were to flag Hangouts as priority, these would still um, shine through and you can see, you can adjust this. So I can have it be indefinitely only show priority notifications or for one hour or something like that. You can also just say, I don't want anything to come through. So this is basically your do not disturb settings or you could just have all and everything will come through. So you not only have volume control with your, with your volume button, but you also have notification control as well. So the final thing in here then is, I'm gonna set that back to all. If we go into settings, and there is a sound and notification option. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, this is where you'll see app notifications. And uh, this is actually where you could go in and look at every single app you have and basically tell it where you want it to show up. So you could go in and manually set up all the things you want to be priority or blocked or sensitive or something like that. And so you can sort of do that manually there. You can see all of your apps should be in here. And then also, if you've given apps notification access, this is where that's going to be. So Android Wear would be one of those push bullet apps like that that need to access uh, your notifications. So uh, that's just a quick look at some of the new notification uh, settings and sort of power you have with Android L. We got more features coming. Uh, we're Droid Life. Peace.